watermarks. In some cases, you want to put a watermark on your document just to show that it's a draft document or anything like that. So a watermark in uh, adding a watermark in MS Word is very easy, of course. So you can just go to design and uh, choose your watermark. Watermark. In this case, I've selected a picture, so that's the picture you see in the back end here, the draft picture. The watermark is linked to the header of the page, so uh, it's repeated for every page. It's linked to the header, and that's how we are going to handle it and uh, decide to show or not show our watermark. So if I select, select this uh, 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 paragraph here with our watermark placeholder, uh, then you can see the picture of the watermark is also selected. So we're going to manage to show or hide this paragraph here to show or hide our paragraph picture. Okay, how do we start? We start by going to our Salesforce. We are opening up, uh, we are creating a doc config uh, for our watermark. So this is what you see here. Uh, we are opening our doc config. So I have my doc config opened already and I have my watermark document attached to it. I have an opportunity um, data source. The opportunity data source, it's, it has a checkbox called, um, there's only one Boolean, is private. And uh, depending on this is private, I want to show or hide the watermark. Okay, so now let's go to our watermark config type. I have my config type here, as indicated, it's of type paragraph, so uh, to show or hide the entire paragraph of the uh, uh, watermark. Uh, the merge field of course, watermark, as you can see here in the header, this is the merge field. And I have uh, a uh, remove merge field action to remove the merge field only. So do not contain the para uh, do not remove the paragraph because then your watermark is gone, of course. But if you want to show the watermark, you of course do not want to show the merge field. So you can handle that very easily with this one. And then I have my condition saying uh, if the uh, uh, opportunity is private, uh, then I want to show or hide the watermark. So let's see. Uh, this is all very simple, straightforward configuration in PDF Butler. So let's, re let's see the results. I go to my opportunity. I have my doc config already added here. So I just click the button. It gets the data, shows the watermark in this case, because my uh, opportunity is not private. So the watermark is shown. I just quickly change the value of the private item here. So now it is, uh, it is private, so the watermark should not show. And indeed, the watermark is gone. It's not there anymore. So this concludes our demo. Just to wrap up, uh, create a Word document with a watermark. Have in the same paragraph as the watermark sits uh, a placeholder a config uh, to uh, add your config type to. So uh, this is our watermark uh, uh, placeholder here, a merge field. And in PDF Butter, just create a paragraph uh, config type to with a criteria to decide to show or hide the, uh, uh, the paragraph. When the paragraph is removed, also the uh, watermark will be removed. So that's it. That's how you control the watermark on a document.